Okay, another example of a mass balance is, is a simple one, is how to fill a glass with water. Well, let's draw first the glass. Water is entering with a certain volume flow rate, and at a certain time, it reaches a certain height. And this height is dependent on the time. And the question is, how long does it take before, at a certain height, the glass is filled? Well, let's write down the mass balances of the glass. The change of mass in the glass of water as a function of time is equal to the amount of mass which enters the glass minus the amount of liquid which leaves the glass. Well, there's no liquid leaving, perhaps by evaporation, but we can neglect that to the, to the entrance. So in this case, we can skip this term. Well, let's substitute the mass. The mass equals the density multiplied by the volume of the liquid in the glass as a function of time is equal to the volume flow rate multiplied by the density. Well, we assume that the density is constant at two sides, so you can divide both sides by the density, and the only equation which leaves is the change of volume as a function of time is equal to the volume flow rate. Well, now we have to rewrite the volume into a height. So the volume is equal to the surface area multiplied by the height. Well, if we substitute this, then we get the change of height divided by the time, because the height is dependent on the time, is equal, and then we divide the, the, through the surface area, we get four times the volume flow rate multi divided by pi d squared. And you see, this is in fact a very simple differential equation which we have to solve. Well, let's integrate first time h is equal to 4 times 4 phi over pi d squared multiplied by t plus an integration constant. Well, we know that there was no liquid in the glass, so this integration constant, so the h, the height is zero, and t is zero. So this constant should be zero. Well, if you fill in now the numbers in the example, you can derive the time because you have to rewrite this then, and you could say the time is equal to multiplied by h, divided by 4 of a, and that's about 15.7 seconds. And so this is perhaps a long and difficult way to calculate how long it takes to fill a glass, but it gives you an insight how you use a balance. Thank you for your attention.